let us pray almighty god most merciful father we thank you and praise you master for this wonderful day that you have given to us not by our worthiness but by your grace only that's why we thank you lord please bless each and every person those who are here and those who are coming lord be with us and let the christmas celebration will be a rejoicing one for each and every person in jesus precious name we ask this prayer amen please be seated on behalf of diocese of katwag and from my own behalf i would like to express my heartfelt greetings and merry christmas to you all say please merry christmas and i have a laugh at least merry christmas is a religious school one yes every places in today in different uh, not only in our church the whole world is they are rejoicing because jesus christ he won for us he the god he became flesh and dwell among us he incarnated it is different from that of other faith the christian faith is totally different from the other faith that jesus christ he completely 100% man and 100% divine person and today we are celebrating it is a historical day that's why many believers those who are participating here and in other places definitely we are receiving blessing from god and i am also very much thankful to god that today i am able to share the word of god with you to most children it is a gift children they are having the gift actions or they are very happy today also i am very happy that our church has given a gift very nice to many mothers also it is thinking that their family how the family the the relatives they will enjoy and they will prepare the sweet dishes the parents it means family gets together and sharing the memories many persons many families there are those who are keen and keep from outside they came today and they are enjoying they are sharing they are sharing the love sharing the memories merchants we see that when i today uh, today also i have seen that many merchants people are there selling or cake they are selling even many goods things are also they are selling dresses are there when i visited to one mall that oh many people are there only oh christmas gift a christmas dresses this is i said no for me only cash check not that i have just come here for my children you see many it means financial dresses some people are they are drawing they are having the merchant they are always thinking about money or poor people it is a dress the children how they will demand how they will want to fulfill the demand the needs they are not able to buy the good dresses for their children you see for us how we are preparing the sermon the pastors the evangelists they used to go to different places and sharing the good news the pastors they want to prepare good worship service for this year for christians christmas is celebrating christ incarnation 
his birth and god's purpose is that sending his son to this world for me definitely you accept this one that christmas means is a time of celebration of what celebration jesus christ birth is the time that you are rejoicing why you should rejoice because savior has to birth in this world for me and for you nobody is there to save us from the sinful activities of this world he has liberated us from the sin in this world from this world it is a time to reconcile if we have something else among our family members in the friend circle it is a time that we can reconcile because jesus christ he came to this world to reconcile it is a time that we can have the peace why jesus christ is sent his son fulfill the law because it was already prophet Isaiah also share, and Micah also share. Many persons, many prophets also share this part that a person, a son will be, a child will be taken birth to reveal God as Father. The God He revealed Himself through Jesus Christ. He incarnated in this world to give life, abundant life. we all people will get abundant life eternal life you see this is physical life it's maybe 60 years or 70 years or some by god's grace maybe 80 90 years but more than that or 100 years some other places other country but not more than that but after this life there is eternal life unless and until we believe in jesus christ we will never get the eternal life that jesus christ can only give us eternal life first john chapter 5 is that get life new life a new life what is that new life because after reconciliation or after accepting jesus christ that is the life to seek and save the lost jesus christ came into this world to seek and save the lost who are the lost among us when we are escape from god when we stray from the justice peace when we are stray from harmony then there is we are called as lost as the prodigal son jesus christ came to this world to save to seek and to save the lost that in luke chapter 19 verse 10 when jacques was there jesus christ is said and he found him and he said that i have come here to seek and save the lost to give his own life jesus christ came to this world that he gave his own life on the cross of calvary no one is there to give life for others why he has given life because that we will be saved we will get salvation and we will get freedom that's why he came he came as the god's gift jesus christ is gift for us and, and he will jesus christ will give us salvation he is the savior of the world he is the savior of for whole world he is the savior for me he saved us god demonstrated his own love towards us romans chapter 5 verse 80 if you read 
God demonstrated his own love towards us. In that while we are still sinners, Christ died for us. You see, he born here as a babe. He lived as a human being because 100% human. He crucified. He died for us. And the whole sin was already washed away. That is called salvation. And the salvation you have received. And I have received. That is the wonder. That is the secret of Christmas. Friends. Today we are here. We are celebrating Christmas. What is Christmas? For me. It is salvation. That Jesus Christ came to this world. God sent his only begotten son. Jesus Christ, so that we all can be saved. We'll get eternal life. If we believe in him, we will get eternal life. John Gospel, it speaks about the incarnation of Jesus Christ. How? According to Greek philosophy, that is said that the word become flesh means the logos. What means Logos? Logos means it's who was in the earlier, the beginning, who is with us, and he who will be in future. That is Logos. That is what it became flesh. John chapter, St. John chapter 1, verse 14. It's written that the word became flesh and dwell among us. No one is there in this world that he came and dwelt among us. Only they were having some different places. But Jesus Christ came as a child. He dwelt among the people, those who are poor, those, those who are needy, those who are neglected, those who are not having any kind of post in this society. Those who are outcast, downtrodden, he dwell among these kind of people. Give justice to them. He liberated them. He gave them peace. Christmas is one day within the larger seasons during which the church celebrating now. What is the, the theme, especially that Jesus Christ came to this world to save us? And if you believe, we'll get eternal life. How many persons we believe that Jesus Christ is really God? And 100% God and 100% human being? I believe. I experience him. First, you can listen. John said that I have heard about him. I have seen him. But John Chapter, uh, letter of John, verse, that is, you can see, the uh, verse 1 and 2, that he says that I have seen him. I have touched him. Thereafter only I am sharing. I have tested him. Psalm 34, verse 18, he said, Oh, test the Lord, how he is good to you, good to me. His beauty. Very tasty. Those who have tested sweets, those who have tested Nahibara Aludam, those who have tested, they only know what is the test. I have tested Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. Have you tested him? Definitely will receive. Today we are testing Jesus Christ, already tested, and again we can see in our heart. First John, he says about this one. Gospel of John, the same person, he is speaking that he is giving his testimony, sharing his testimony that Jesus Christ, he came to this world. The birth of Christ is a signal of God's unconditional love. He has sent his begotten son because he has loved us. 
Their love has no condition at all. Unconditional love. He never wants anything else. God never wants anything else. But he wants the contrite heart. That is unconditional love. Many persons, while we are married, having this time we have the condition in different places. We take oath, but God never take any kind of oath. We want to only affirm our faith. That is only he wants. Now, do you feel his presence in your home, in your family prayer, in the church, while you are visiting different places? Definitely. We must have to feel his presence in our day to day life. If you believe that Jesus Christ loved me and I also love him, his love is unconditional love. There is no condition at all. Empowering love. He empowers us while we believe in Jesus Christ, while we accept Jesus Christ. He empowers us. He has given us as a child, he has given us his own child, right of sight. We are become the children of God. Those who are believing in him. That is called unconditional love. As always, he has given us the hair. Do we believe? Yes. We two always believe. That's why we are here. We are not for here only to attain. I'm a Christian. That's why I have to go. No. We are his children. He has purchased us. He has given his blood on the cross of Calvary. Because of love only. How many persons can give their life for their friends, their others? He became friend to me, friend to you. And he saved us from the sinful activities of God. Now we are his children. When we are partake with the devil, definitely he is with us. We believe the Christ. Day by day, we are celebrating Christmas. We are rejoicing. We are reconciling. And there is a peace. Unless nobody in this world that give you peace, give me peace. Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace. He is the Prince of Peace. He can only give us peace. That peace this world never give. He said that I am giving, giving you peace. I am giving you peace. This peace no world can give us. Friends, if you want to lead a peaceful life, Believe in Jesus Christ. Follow his footsteps. Good for Walk with him. And you'll enjoy his presence. You'll enjoy his fellowship. You'll enjoy the peace of God. Many youth, they are not in a peaceful mind. You, you may have wealth. But if you will not get peace, what is the meaning of wealth? One day it will be also passed away. But the peace of Jesus Christ, it will unending. The love of Jesus Christ, it is unending till the end of our life. Friends, today we are celebrating. It is a historical day. It will continue. Day by day, every day, we are remembering Jesus Christ as our personal law and Savior. Definitely your life will be changed. Your thinking will be changed. You will have the inner peace in your heart, in your mind. And you will enjoy the fellowship of God. You will enjoy the fellowship of Jesus Christ. And you will feel the presence of God whenever you are going. Fast put your stay. In the morning and go on and walk. Remember that Jesus Christ is saved me. I am his child. And what I can do for him. 
I have to also sacrifice for him. May God add his blessing to each and every person in this Christmas. So Christmas is a time of celebration, for rejoicing, time of rejoice, the time of having self uh, recollect all, all the past memories, the time that you can have the peace in our heart, the time that we can remember the salve, what is the salve, the savior of our Lord Jesus Christ is our savior. He's a creator. And God will bless each and every person. Almighty God, our most merciful Father, you are our Savior. You are our Creator. Lord, we believe that without you, we cannot get peace, Lord. You are the Prince of Peace. Lord, we believe that you are going to give peace to each and every person. Those who are opening their heart, mind, come to our heart and take part here, Lord. You are going to come again. Lord, you are knocking at our door, heart. We want to open our heart. Heart, Lord. Take birth in our heart so that we'll get salvation, we'll get peace of mind, we'll have the reconciliation, and let your name will be glorified. In Jesus' precious name, we ask this prayer. Amen.